This is not sponsored by Coke. Still gotta have it every video though. We're gonna make that a thing. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and today we've got our very first ZT knife. Check this bad boy out. This is the ZT-070 or 070 and man, this is a brand new one. It is very lightweight, thin, and elegant. So bladeops.com actually provided us with this specific model. Let them know that Brandon or Everyday Minimalist had sent you and then they will definitely hook you up. First impression on the 070 is this thing has a really nice carbon handle and then titanium on the other side with that frame lock design. When I actually picked this thing up, it was very lightweight and thin, like really thin, thinner than the bailout thin. So if you guys look at these two, much thinner as far as the height of the handle with that blade concealed. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a really good one if you guys are gonna be using it as like an everyday gents full-sized knife. It, it feels robust, but it also feels feather light in that sense. Let's give you guys a close up of the carbon handle on this. Absolutely beautiful. And then the titanium on the other side. This thing has really good detent for the actual deployment. So if you guys can see here, it is pretty quick. Now the reason why is because ZT has actually installed two pivot balls on the interior of the handle. One on the carbon fiber side and one on the titanium lock bar there. You're not going to deploy this accidentally. You actually have to put some force in there and it does take some pressure to get that out. So the reason why they did that is because the lock bar, if you if you actually press down on it and then try to deploy it, some other frame locks, you know, it'll kind of hitch up or you'll have to put more pressure into getting it out with the flipper tab. With those two detent balls, the blade just comes right out. That's really convenient and I like that ZT has done that. Overall form factor, this thing is again, very thin and lightweight. The blade length, you're looking at about three and a half inches long. The handle itself, you're looking at about 4.6 inches long. As far as overall length goes, you're looking at about eight and a quarter inches. So this thing is gonna be pretty big, but again, this thing only weighs about 2.3 to two and a half ounces. Um, we'll have to confirm that, but yeah, it's very, very lightweight. The blade itself is made of 20 CV steel, so really nice premium stuff. It'll be able to retain an edge really well. It might be really hard to sharpen it, but you might only have to do that a few times a year unless you're really banging up on it. So this is a drop point style blade with that stone wash finish. Won't really show a ton of wear. Now, as you guys can tell, that blade tip is pretty, pretty small and I wouldn't suggest going through and trying to, you know, like cut wood or um, do anything too crazy with it. But if you're using it as like an EDC knife, this is gonna be just fine. So if you're gonna be, you know, opening up packages and that sort of thing, it's gonna be perfect for that sort of scenario. Looking on the backside here, you will see that there is a tiny pocket clip there. I'm not sure if I should be nervous about that. Yeah, let me just show you guys an example of this next to the bailout. So as you guys can tell, the uh, pocket clip is gonna be a fraction of the size versus the bailout. You're looking at probably 60% uh, the actual length and then a quarter for the actual width which that's ridiculously small. And this is a deep carry pocket clip. It's not gonna be bad whatsoever. The only problem I see is when you're actually pulling it out of your pants in this direction, you're gonna be putting more tension on that. And it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Either way, it's gonna be very concealed. So if you really wanna conceal this thing, it'll be perfect. And it doesn't even look like a big pocket knife. The frame lock on this guy is very nice. And that is with the titanium lock bar. And as I was saying before, there are gonna be two pivot balls there for the detent on this when you actually go to deploy it. I think that's the first time I've personally seen that. This is probably one of my favorite knives that I've had here on the channel, just due to the fact that it has the carbon fiber, it's titanium, it's got 20 CV steel. I would give this a solid nine out of 10 as far as overall aesthetics. And then for ergonomics, it's gonna be really nice as well. So as you can tell, all my fingers fit on there, no problem. And I have a medium sized hand, and then I still have some space here on the back of the handle. So that's perfect. The pocket clip does not get in the way. 
So they do add in some jimping on the top side of the blade and then with the little flipper tab, I'm not sure if this was intended, but there is jimping right there where you can kind of like choke up your index finger too. So here's the initial overview of the ZT-070. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, go ahead, throw me a thumbs up. If you guys disliked it, throw me a thumbs down and then we'll do better next time. If you guys wanna see more content on Instagram, go ahead, follow me there. I'm gonna leave the link in the section below, every.day.minimalist and that is gonna be my handle. And if you'd like to see more content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you guys know when that next video is gonna be live. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and then we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.